so Don and JC carried you guys offensively for a lot of the night, and then all of a sudden in that late fourth quarter stretch, you step up big, Royce hits a big shot, Boyan hits a big shot. Uh, can you kind of just take us through that that big closing 14-2 to two run late in the fourth where uh, the rest of you guys kind of took over? Yeah, I mean, it's the beauty of our team, I think, and, and it has been all year of um, different possessions, um, not necessarily like taking turns, but just kind of, oh, I think Donovan and I said at one point, like whoever Beverly's not on, bring it up and, and we'll get into something. Obviously, he, he he's pretty good on the ball. Um, I think he stole that one off me one time. So just, yeah, just figuring out matchups and, and who's on who and, and who we want to attack and w where we want to go at, uh, at different times. So, um, the, the, again, the beauty of our team is that we've got a, a lot of guys that can handle the ball and, and make plays and, and obviously make shots and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it was just, again, reading the, reading the situation, reading the play, um, mismatches or, or the, the matchups we, we want to try and find and then, and then being aggressive at, at the point of it. Tony Jones, The Athletic. Um, can you describe, you know, just the, the resilience and the toughness that you guys show today um, in the last two games um, to, to A, overcome, you know, a, a night where you shoot, where you miss 21 consecutive shots and B, overcome um, a third quarter where you guys just couldn't get anything done against the zone and, and, and still be able to, to, to hit back um, when you guys took some haymakers? Yeah. Um, I mean, even when we got up, 16 or whatever that lead was at one point um the whole time out obviously about staying focused and locked in and, and just knowing they are obviously going to score at some point for the rest of the game or quarter um we're, we're not going to hold them to to zero for the rest of the quarter so just just knowing that they're obviously a good team and they're gonna they're gonna make a little run at some point uh, which they did and the the zone part i think um I mean, we haven't seen zone for a long time. I think I said it this morning. We we get better at things as as kind of time goes on. And at the start of the zone, we weren't very very good. I think we got a bit stagnant in it, and kind of looking at Donovan to to make a play um, each time. And as the the quarter went on, um, or the time of of the zone went on, um, we figured out some things. I think JC and Boyan hit a couple of big shots to just kind of hold that lead a little bit. Um, so obviously, yeah, I mean, now that we kind of know they they did that, um, there's probably a, a good chance they'll do it again. Um, so we'll, we'll be be ready for it. Ben Anderson, KSLsports.com. Joe, not to talk about the guy who's going to push you back to the bench, but what does it mean to get these two wins without Mike Conley? <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand my ground and refuse to go back to the bench. What about that? Good luck. <laughs> yeah no that'll be a waste of time um yeah i mean it, it, it's big it's um it's what we've done all all year we've obviously at different times had different guys out um, especially that last kind of little stretch of the year that four or five weeks um without donovan um so again i i, I think i said it this morning too i'm more than happy to to go back to the bench for for a guy like that um it's what I've done all year. I've I've been in and out of that starting lineup a little bit. Um, it's what I'm I'm almost used to um, at, at different times. And um, when he comes back, I'll more than happily leave my uh, jacket on for the first few minutes and um, give him a handshake and and support him. So um, yeah, it's just a almost a, that mentality of kind of next man up. Um, I, me, I got in there a bit more tonight and and stuff like that. So we we've dealt with that. I mean, we've dealt with that for seven years since I've been here, to be honest with you. Um, good name people each year that have missed time and, and guys have had to start or, or play different roles. So um, coach does a good job of – or the coaching staff and medical staff of, of having everybody ready at um, the time that they need to if, if guys need to step in and um, kind of pick up some some load of, of a guy missing. Ramona Shelburne, the SBN. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Um, good. Hey, you you guys have the defensive player of the year. I know you got that award today uh, before the game. And it's six man of the year, your best record in the league. You just held serve at home in these two really close games. Are, are, are people starting to take you seriously now as an NBA 
championship contender? I mean, is, is this the, the game where we start to believe this is your year? I mean, you guys probably hear it or yeah. see it more than we do. Um, you probably don't want my honest opinion because I really, really don't care what people think <laughs> or, or um, what people say or, or think about our team. Um, we've, we've put in the work. I mean, we've, we've put on the work for seven years since, since Quinn took over to, to be in this position and um, be fighting for this. So it's been a process and um, it's been, uh, I think, I mean, Fave now as well, but Rudy and I were the last two and then Fave obviously getting Fave back. So um, there's been a lot of different guys here um, and we've kind of been building every year um, to, towards this. So we know within our locker room and, and this organization what we've done to put ourselves in this position. Um, and and the confidence we, we've got to, to keep winning games and keep pushing and, um, yeah, just keep kind of moving forward step by step. Um, I mean, whatever people want to say or write or talk about, I, like I'm going to go home tonight and have a great sleep and get up tomorrow and take my kids to school and whatever people want to talk about, they'll talk about. But for us, it's going to be, um, yeah, heading in tomorrow, we'll watch some more film and, and, and keep keep kind of pushing forward step by step. It's I know it's like the oldest cliche in the book, but it is one game at a time. We, we can't kind of look too far ahead. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll recover and get ready and um, yeah, get ready for the next one. Thanks, Joe. No worries. Sarah Todd, Deseret News. Joe, did you know that Boyan could defend like this? Hey, he's going to hurt himself because now every, for 82 regular season games, he's going to have to pick up full court. Same with JC. JC was doing the same thing. So um, maybe he's just so much better offensively that he saves his energy to give him 30 or whatever. But um, no, it's, I mean, I think he's done a good job. The whatever, what's he been here two years now? I think um, his second year. So um, I think he's been, whatever you want to call it, underrated or not. I, I think sometimes you get people get like he is so good offensively that. You just kind of – that's what – like you think of Boyan and that's what you think. Um, but but he's been he's been good for us for, for two years defensively. He's – I mean, everyone has slip-ups. of yeah, Like that's from top to bottom. Maybe we can take Rudy out of that list because he's three-time defensive player of the year. But, um, I mean, at, at times everyone's going to have a, a mistake or anything like that. But um, if the effort's there and, and you know the game plan, um, and again, like you throw Rudy behind – uh, and put his put him in the the under the room or whatever we wherever he is on the court. It it helps everybody. Um, so yeah, it's I can't wait for game one next year when he has to pick up full court. <laughs> um, but no, it's uh, he's he's played great um, on both ends of the floor for us, and um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll keep it going for him. All right, time for one last question, Maxime Lagorge, a free agent. Yes, my guy. Yeah, yeah, the free yeah. agent Maxine. Uh, yeah, uh, what makes the difference in money time tonight? In the what? Sorry, in money, money time. time. Man, I love your questions. Um, I mean, we, we we've it kind of goes back to the earlier question of of this this build up of seven years. We've done the amount of hours and days we've spent. Um, going through late game situations, what we run a run in the last quarter, what matchups we want to attack in, in and, and having guys in the, the right position to attack those matchups. Um, we've been building and, and working on this for, for seven years too. So I think we're, we are very comfortable in those situations. Um, it helps when you've got Donovan uh, to make plays on the ball or with the ball. Um, but yeah, we, I mean, we've been, um, we, I think we've been good in a lot of those situations a lot of the time because we do um, we, we work on it a lot there's a segment of practice every day at the end that's um, kind of dedicated to, to late game situations spacing I mean we talked about spacing for I don't know how long this morning uh, shoot around but it's it's crucial in these games um, a close game last possession last shot whatever the situation is you you need to execute, and I think we we generally do a pretty good job of that. And I think it is um, the the time we spend on it, and then, um, like I said, it helps having some some pretty good players in those situations.